maybe you never hear about IXP, this abbreviation. It's Internet Exchange Point. It's something new for Canada. It's major internet infrastructure uh, uh, instance, Internet Exchange Point. In Europe, Europe, you can find several hundreds of IXP in different countries and different cities, but in North America, this number limited, and in Canada, we have only one for a lot of years, Toronto Internet Exchange. Nowadays, situation changes. More and more IXP appears in every province. Even in Winnipeg, we now have two. What is IXP? It's special infrastructure that dedicated to reduce cost associated with traffic exchange between different internet service provider and between everybody who has own autonomous system number. And more interesting, we can reduce delay between uh, all ISP in region and have better quality and speed. And also, it's improved security risk because traffic will not go across US and back several times when you send some information from one building in Winnipeg to another one. From technical point of view, IXP is very simple. It's a generic layer to switch it Ethernet. And every member have BGP router that has BGP peering on common peering VLAN with each other. Uh, to simplify uh, BGP peering, uh, in case if we have a lot of members, a special role exists, road server. It's dedicated BGP speakers that accept all routers from everyone and send them full routing table that gathered this way. Uh, uh, this means establishing peering with uh, this road server. Uh, uh, you will have all routers from all members who have this peering with road server. And next, most interesting topic, nobody knows about this. It's top secret, but most of internet exchange point vulnerable and affected by all these methods of attack. The most popular is Ethernet loop. If some of members will interconnect between them somewhere else outside of IXP, an Ethernet loop will create it. If IXP have no any security measures to limit this type of attack, all routers connected to this IXP will die. Why? Because broadcast storm will be so heavy. Uh, in this Ethernet loop, uh, bro new broadcast packets for ARP request will appear thousands and millions, and routers always need to use CPU to proceed this ARP request and send ARP reply. In my history, we have only one case when a technician interconnects two cables that uh, should not be connected between these particular two ports, never. It was special dedicated ports in case of nuclear war. And he connected <laughs> and create Ethernet loop. And all country, it's Ukraine, was without internet for 30 minutes. <laughs> all routers of all internet providers in whole country was disconnected at all. It, will, it was major technical disaster in Ukraine. But it was only one time, and uh, in 30 minutes I fixed this problem. Uh, second, uh, nobody uh, knows why, uh, but in rules of all internet exchange points, present rule, do not enable ARP proxy. But people don't do this, and by default, a lot of Cisco routers has enabled ARP proxy. If you do this, traffic will be diverted to fake destination, and you will never know about this 
until something very bad will happen. I will show one example later. A very uh, simple uh, disaster could be uh, uh, happened if somebody put wrong net mask on interface. And it's uh, more often we can find in the case if some network uh, going under migration and change uh, net mask size, somebody receive more IP addresses and need expansion. This case was in uh, Amsterdam and in Germany. Uh, they start from uh, 256 IP addresses but grow and need to use 500, 1000 and more. And they have this allocation but on network interfaces, initially it was configured as slash 24, and in case if somebody have one net mask, uh, some other guy has another one, it will be big, big trouble. I will show you later. And very simple case, very popular, somebody, some newcomer who just connect to IXP and receive welcome email with configuration and not understand what is written in that email. Uh, he will get IP address for connection and IP address of road server to establish peering. Some of ISP configure IP address of road server on their own router and use this address incorrectly so uh, it can down all IXP completely if this uh, internet exchange point not protected against this scenario. And also uh, most interesting and it's topic of my presentation, how to use ARP protocol to kill IXP. It can be um, very simple if you have a direct access to any IXP, if you member of IXP, you have this access. In normal situation, it's typical scenario how traditional IXP works. We have some Ethernet, uh, it may be tens or, or more switches, but it's a general layer two plane Ethernet switching domain. And all members have router with one IP address. This router directly connected to this segment. And we have road servers that have all routing information in BGP table. And traffic going directly between all members. All routers has full uh, routing table of local IP addresses. And more interesting for us, it has resolved ARP table. To send Ethernet frame, we always need source and destination MAC on this Ethernet. It's poor Ethernet network. And at the first attempt when uh, router 1 tried to send traffic to router 2, it will send ARP request and ask which MAC address uh, will be used to send traffic to any of these IP addresses. So it's normal situation with four routers on uh, IXP network in this example and one road server. On this picture, everything fine as normal, regular operation. But some bad guy got drunk at Friday's evening and one to make a small pen test. He is working with router 2, it's red one, and he configure his software to send ARP reply. He has uh, all IP address on his router on this segment. He sent from his router to ARP reply to router 1, 2, uh, 3, 4, and road server, and send information I know this IP address located on my router, but our protocol is insecure protocol and all routers immediately update their ARP caches as soon as receive this ARP reply. 
no any way of verification if this ARP reply is correct or no exist. And what's happened in this scenario? For next uh, three minutes, this hijacker steal all traffic from all members on this internet exchange point because three minutes is default BGP timer until uh, it will uh, end. All BGP session will still alive, but uh, after three minutes it will go down. But three minutes, it's a lot of time to steal all possible information from network. All traffic will go directly to this guy, to his router too. But maybe he will be affected by volume of traffic because in modern IXP uh, members connected by 10 gigabit Ethernet and we have hundreds of members and he tried to receive terabit per second of traffic but has only 10 gig. But it's enough to steal a lot of interesting information. Uh, in any Internet Exchange Points system administrator will find this case. Somewhere it will take days, somewhere it will take minutes, but at the moment somebody finds this guy is bad, uh, he has violated all possible rules and network completely down because of this activity. And disconnect this bad guy from the network. What's happened in this case, attack will uh, continue because after you disconnect his bad guy, network will not be recovered. It will be still, it still be affected by previous uh, are poisoned cache. Uh, you can see, I, I'm not sure if you can see on this small screen, but all routers will uh, still remember wrong ARP for all IP addresses. Only road server can renew uh, its ARP cache because we have uh, BGP session that will try to renew uh, and set up new peering every 60 seconds. And at this moment, road server will try to do new ARP request and can receive refreshed correct value. All other routers don't know that our ARP is bad and they have all information populated in ARP cache and it may take hours before uh, some administrator of that routers will find it could not send traffic, all going to black hole. Uh, maybe this is explanation why in Manitoba some ISP can be down for hours or weeks because uh, this protocol uh, can keep uh, records in ARP table even for days if it's configured in this way. And traffic will be black hole and nobody knows why. Uh, another case of attack with wrong net mask and ARP proxy enabled. I get uh, this uh, screenshot from presentation of Arnold Nipper. He is technical director of number one uh, IXP in the world, D6. And it's real case when in um, summer 2011, they renumbered their network mask and all uh, work with new slash 22, but one guy forget about this and still use old slash 23. And this slash 23 was announced through internet back to the D6 internet exchange point and some of routers has proxy ARP enabled. And in this case, a lot of links going down, nobody knows what's going on, and on graphic, they have real disaster, 45% of all traffic loss, it's more than terabit per second. 
its real case, it was on Saturday, it took three and a half hours to fix. In my network in Ukraine, its picture of my previous internet exchange point, never been uh, this problem. And this is our future because I know how to defend against all of this type of attacks. And I have some recommendation. First, uh, it's proactive monitoring. Uh, guys from Amsterdam and DSX know about this and use all these tools like IXP Watch, ARP Watch, ARP Ping. Uh, uh, on the screen, you can see real example if you do ARP Ping 10, 10, 10, 10, very popular IP address. I receive 18 response on one packet. So I find 18 people who enable proxy ARP on that network and configure this 10, 10, 10, 10 address. Or for example, uh, I have statistics for uh, all possible usage of ARP protocol because it's most vulnerable on any IXP. And I, I always can find top ARPers who send most ARP requests, who send wrong ARP response. Uh, I can find on the left side one member sent more ARP requests than all members together for one month. He sent it, this number in one hour. And even I put here a fresh example from Winnipeg Internet Exchange. One of the member enabled proxy ARP and I find his Cisco systems router. He used IP address 192.168.01, also very popular. So it's not limited to Europe or some country. It's present everywhere. But uh, all internet exchange point in world still be vulnerable by this case of attack, excluding all my IXPs. I use uh, ARP access list. It does not present on uh, most of Cisco switches, but Extreme Networks and Brocade uh, have this feature. It's very useful and very simple to put for every port, a small access list and allow only one IP address in uh, our protocol and everything will work fine after this and all attacks will be blocked. Also good idea to limit the rate of incoming ARP packets to stop broadcast storm on case Ethernet loops. Uh, these two rules can protect completely every IXP, but it's implemented only in three cases in the world. And now you know about this, how to protect any IXP, but if you want, you can hack any other IXP in the world using this method. Uh, and good news, IPv6 does not use our ARP protocol at all. So all these attacks does not work in IPv6 world. But IPv6 has more new ways how to attack and hack everything, and I can tell you about this next year. Thank you for coming. Thank you, Snow, for coming to Winnipeg again. <laughs> That's all. Questions? <laughs>